So one March morning in the year of our Lord, 987, the young Anglo-Saxon king of England, King Edward, is uh, leading his merry band of hunters, huntsmen, uh, through the county of uh, 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 Dorset and Dorset. Uh, yes, there they are. You're right, if we, if we look close enough, we might just see them. Uh, oh, yes, there's the poor unfortunate uh, deer type thing. And there's, there's the king. There's the king on his stallion. We think it might be a stallion. Uh, they haven't got close enough to have a look. And there's these many, many men. Merry men. Uh, right there, leading it to the rear. And uh, there they found themselves uh, this, uh, in the in the county of Dorset, not far from Corfe Castle, home of the king's beloved, entirely trustworthy stepmother, Queen Ethelfreda. And, uh, oh, there she is, there she is, there's Queen Ethelfreda, uh, keeping her eye out. And uh, there she is, she lives there in the Corfe Castle with uh, the, the king's son, uh, the king's half-brother, and rather, uh, it's King Ethelred, uh, no, uh, Prince Ethelred, uh, don't give the game away. Uh, there's Prince Ethelred, uh, he's ready as ever, he's almost, always, always very ready. Now, perhaps foolishly, the king uh, leaves the hunting party and rides up to the castle on his own. Uh, he might be just give it a bit of hoven to be. Oh, there he is, there he is. And now, unfortunately, uh, there he is. Oh, but look at that, there they are. Look at uh, the king riding the king. He's chained horses, he's chained horses in midstream, or halfway up to the castle at least. And now, of course, uh, I must remember that uh, 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 Corfe Castle is very similar, very different uh, to. Uh, now, as it is, there, there he's up on the hill. Uh, there's Corfe Castle up on the hill. 